Hello, folks. This is Steve Guzzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director Ultimate, looking at some of the cool tools available in this program. Now, we have a clip on our timeline here of a bicycle. Uh, it's a charity ride. And you can see we've got a group of people going by. And if I just scrub through here, you can see we've got lots of people riding by. But along about two thirds of the way into the clip, there's a guy who starts to emerge there on the left. You'll see him in the back. He's going to wave in just a moment. This is really the guy I want to focus the video on. Now, there are a number of ways I could do that, but I want to use some time shifting to do this. Now, time shifting is something you see pretty common in modern movies, uh, especially action films where you see something slow down real slow and then suddenly go really, really fast. So that we're focusing on, say, a guy jumping out of a car or flying through the air while there's a big explosion behind him or something. Nothing that dramatic here, but we're going to use essentially the same principles because you have a tool built into CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate that can do that cool effect. And the effect is achieved through a tool called the Video Speed Designer. Now, the video speed designer is actually available in a couple of places. I've got the clip selected on my timeline so I can see my function buttons. Under tools, if I go under the action camera center, the video speed designer is one of the many tools under effect that is built into the action camera center. That's actually a very cool workspace that uh, we may explore entirely in another tutorial. But the full blown complete video speed designer can be found by going under tools and selecting, guess what, video speed. So this is a video speed designer and there are actually two workspaces built into it. One is under the first tab where we are now. These are the speed setting controls that will affect the entire clip. So if you want your entire clip to go very fast or you want your entire clip to go in very slow motion, you can set it up under this first tab. But the more advanced workspace here in the video speed designer is under the selected range tab. And here we can set up time shift ranges or certain areas of the clip where the playback will speed up and certain areas where it will slow down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this clip and we're going to take the first two thirds of our video and make them go by very quickly, sped up. And then we're going to ramp down to extreme slow motion and focus on that guy who waves to the camera for the last part of the video clip. Now to create a time shift range or a segment of the clip that you're going to apply a time shift to, all you need to do is move the playhead. We'll just move it in just a short second or so into the clip and then click the button down here at the bottom under selected range tab, the create time shift button. And this will create a range here by default. It's one second long. We're going to drag it out until just about the time that guy emerges. So. If you look at the indicator here, you can see the duration is now about five and a half, almost six seconds long. And we're going to shift that into a high speed so it plays back very quickly. Now you can go extremely fast here in this video speed designer. If I shift this multiplier all the way off to the right, you can see you can go 88 times speed. That's very, very quick. And it's a fraction of a second. We don't want to go quite that fast. Let's take it down to about We'll take it down to about four speed. So we're going to go about four times the actual speed. So instead of our five and a half or six second segment here or range, now it's going to play in about one and a half seconds. Move the playhead a little farther here till our friend shows up. And right about here, we're going to ramp it down and slow it way down. So we create another time shift range. By default, it's one second long. We'll make it right up until this guy nearly goes by. If you look at the duration, you see it is now about one and a half, nearly two seconds long, but we're going to bring it way down and you can slow it down to one tenth speed. That's a long way down. Let's try it at about 0.14 speed. Okay. So about 15 one hundredths of its actual playback speed. And then rather than go abruptly into that speed change, we're going to select the option to ease in and ease out. So it's going to ramp down to that extreme slow speed and then it's going to speed back up again to normal speed at the very end of the clip. And that should give us the effect we need. I'm going to drag the playhead back to the beginning. We should see normal playback for about a second and then we'll shift into real high speed playback. It'll go back to normal speed about two thirds of the way into this clip. 
And then for the last segment, we'll shift into extreme slow. Let's see how it looks. Go ahead and play. High speed. And here's our slow down. And our friend waving. We slowed him down a lot, didn't we? But we got the effect we wanted. And like I say, this is something you see quite often in action movies today. It's something you can do on your home computer now using the extremely easy to use and intuitive video speed designer built into Cyberlink PowerDirector. Now, if you want to know more about all the tools that are available in Cyberlink PowerDirector, I hope you'll check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. Want to know every single thing about Cyberlink PowerDirector Ultimate? Check out the moviepix.com guide to Cyberlink Power Director. I'm the guy who wrote it. It's available on Amazon.com, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.